Hello guys, what's up? My name is Brooke Tomer and today I'll be teaching my stubborn Italian greyhound a new trick. <laughs> you guys frothed the last trick video I tried to do a sprinkle, I'll link it up here. So I thought I would duplicate that, but this time with a more specific trick in mind. See, the trick I'm going to try and teach Sprinkle today is to pick an object up and give it to me. Cedar already knows how to do this trick. Can you please bring me that pen? So I know how to train it, but Sprinkle is just not a very good learner. Seed, go. I have a bowl of cut up chicken here. Uh, Sprinkle is a foodie. She absolutely loves chicken, so she's gonna start doing some stupid stuff pretty quickly. First thing I wanna try and do is get her to interact with the pen and uh, that will get her a treat. So we'll start off with just touching it or sniffing it or anything to do with the pen. That's a good sign. That's what I'm gonna try and go for. The thing I like to do when I teach, when I teach my dogs is um, talk as little as possible and let their brains figure it out. She knows touching the pen is getting her a treat. So I am going to try and get a touch it with her mouth or kiss it with her nose first. Yes, good girl, sprink. Yes, that was pretty close. saying anything and she is using her brain to try and figure out what she needs to get the chicken um, which is what most dogs actually tend to do but we just are never taught to actually be silent when we train so the more silent you are and the more willing you are to give treats for the smaller things the faster your dog will learn it up before I try and get it to bring it to me. Bring it here, Spring. Get it, bring it here. 
close, but cedar. So what I use for cedar is get it and then bring it here. So get whatever I'm pointing to and then bring it to me. So that I'm gonna use the same cues for sprinkle. Get it! Cedar, go away. Get it! Yes, go spring! Get it! Yes, go sprinkle! Okay, now the bring it here part starts. change the object so that she stopped biting it. I like to use uh, like little items that I would potentially drop so that if I do drop them I can ask the girls to get them for me. Sprinkle, get it. time differentiating between circumstances if that makes sense like they know how to sit inside they don't know how to sit outside whereas humans are good at I don't know there's a word for it but I guess she's confused now that it's a different object even though she can like if I bought the pen back I'm sure she'd be able to do it with the pen let's see get it yes good girl yeah, but now that it's this, it's confusing her. So I'll have to go back to basics. Yes, go sprinkle! Yes, go sprinkling! Okay, I'm gonna do this two more times and then I'm gonna start to get her to bring it to me. This is for Cedar for waiting nights. Get it. Now the bring it here starts. Bring it here. Get it. Yeah, now bring it. Bring it here, spring. such a good being a cedar. Maybe next time we can teach you something. Would that be friendly and fun? I think the next thing I want to teach cedar, she's so clever, is how to cover her eyes. You know what? I'm actually so impressed with how that just went. She just learned a new trick. This took me 25 minutes to, 
to record. So in half an hour, she just learned a new trick. I mean, it's gonna take a lot more practicing and a lot more trialing with different objects, but she really understands the basis of it and it's that easy. I'm posting the comments box below with any other videos you'd like to see, but otherwise I will see you in the next video. Bye.